Okay, so here we've got this installation of uh, Nixos, mobile Nixos that I keep talking about. And uh, it looks better than it does on the, the camera here, actually, because of the, uh, the gradations. But um, what I've got is I've got my laptop set up to emulate a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard uh, for reasons. And that's passing those mouse and keyboard events into the, uh, into the phone here. So off we go. If I press the key, what I can do is I can bring up a console. And I can start doing a bit, of, a bit of programming, say. And what I want to do is I want to um, run up um, Minecraft. So what I'm going to do is run uh, this Nix shell command, which maps in the Prism Launcher, which is like a custom Minecraft client. And if I run Prism Launcher, up that comes. And you can see here that I've got a little uh, installation or uh, instance of um, vanilla Minecraft that I set up. So that's now running up. And what we should see quite soon, hopefully, is that that comes up in the middle of the screen. So that's custom Minecraft launcher sitting on top of Java, all nicely packaged up and ready to go with Nix. It was that easy to get it running. Let me try and make that full screen and let me start a single player game. And I'm going to create a new world. Survival's too hard for me. I'm going to go for creative. Let's create that world. And so that's now building up the, uh, the game environment for me. Off it goes, takes a little while. 25% getting there. Up to 50 odd percent there, 60, 70. Nearly there now, 90. And off we go. 100 so let's see what we get and i've got minecraft oh my word <laughs> is that cool or what now obviously you know you could you could install your minecraft app from you know whatever game store but the point is that this is all in a custom code that's all been built and compiled. We can change and do what we want with it. So we've got like a, a proper little uh, graphically accelerated computer that can do pretty much anything. I mean, I think this could be the beginning of actually being able to be a proper digital nomad and just take a device like this around with you, plug it in and it's your computer and off you go. What do you think about that?